Hi everybody, my name is Anthony and I'm the AIT Chair here at the Royal College of GPs. Welcome back to GP Ready, our programme of activity aimed at new first five members as you take those all important next steps in your GP careers. This is one of four videos focused on coaching and we're going to be joined by Dr Amrita Sen Mukherjee. Amrita is a portfolio GP, she's the first five wellbeing lead and a trained coach. In this video, Amrita is going to be talking about a really important topic, imposter syndrome, something that I know I've struggled with and I know many of my friends and colleagues have struggled with at various stages throughout their training and careers. And so I'm really interested to hear what Amrita's got to say and the tips she's got to share to help overcome this. I hope you enjoy and we'll see you for another video very soon. So what is it? Essentially, imposter syndrome is a catalogue of feelings uh, that makes us feel quite frankly, not very good about ourselves. Um, it makes us feel inadequate. It makes us feel as though we're not doing very well. We're not doing very good and we're certainly not as good as the person next door. So why do we get it? Well, everybody gets it from time to time. And I think that's really important to own and put on the table that we all might feel that way from time to time. It's a feeling of self-doubt. It's a feeling that even though there's evident success and there's external proof, for some reason, we just feel that something's not quite right. We just haven't done enough. Um, and it can manifest in several ways. You know, we don't put our achievements, our success down to our own um, part in that. We maybe think of it as being luck. Um, and it can be quite tricky for us to take compliments. And so I just wanted to highlight that actually imposter syndrome is something that we all go through. It's something that can be quite difficult for us to overcome. But there are ways and means in which we can understand that. So my top tips would be to consider your past achievements. Understand not just from an academic perspective, but from a life perspective. What have you done in your life that you're really happy about, that you really want to celebrate? Um, what difficult circumstances have you overcome? And really consider those and your strengths. Consider your own life journey, and I talk about that quite a lot, and the fact that we all have different views. Therefore, your journey is very different to the person next to you. So, the way in which you've developed and the way in which you've got through certain circumstances is really, really unique and really different to how the person next to you might have coped. So try not to compare yourself to that person. We all have different resources, we all have different strengths, and we all have different opportunities. So by definition, our journey is going to be very different. So try not to compare yourself. Welcome and embrace your own individuality. We are all beautiful, we are all unique, and we all have something to offer and bring to the table. We may do it in different ways, and that's okay, but we need to celebrate that and celebrate our individuality. When you might be feeling inadequate, anxious or concerned, try to find a trusted other to talk to. And that might be a mentor, a colleague, a friend, but try to find somebody who you can talk to who might be able to shine a light um, and offer a different perspective on who you are and why you might be feeling the way you are. Celebrate yourself. Please don't compare yourself to others. And if it helps, um, get a mentor. I have really enjoyed doing these videos for you all. If there's any other topic that you'd like me to talk about, um, I would love to have that opportunity. And if you'd like to give me any feedback on how these have helped or how you'd like to hear more, please do get in touch. My name is Amrita Sen Mukherjee and I'm the first five wellbeing lead and it's been my pleasure to offer these videos to you.